Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today, I'm going to be picking up where I left off last year with the faux stained glass butterfly wine bottle lamp piece. If this is your first time watching, you might want to watch episode one and two of this series before watching this video. You can click on the I on the top of the video or the link will also be down in the description box below. Okay, let's get to it. Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelis. Let's get started. As you read on the thumbnail, or if you've been following me on the community tab or any of my social media accounts for this channel, then you know that I've been going through the most with this bottle design. <laughs> One of the complications that I ran into while making this bottle happened during the testing of the faux stained glass paint. And again, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you saw that I posted a short where part of the test wing was peeling off. Although this was a slight setback, it was, as Bob Ross would say, a happy accident. This mistake opened the door to a whole new project. I figured out how to make the simplest and might I add the cutest faux stained glass window cleans. I posted a short on how I made these, but I will be uploading a step-by-step -step video. Ah, I think so cute. If you're excited to learn how to make these, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified as soon as I upload. Although that mistake was inspiring, I still had to figure out how to stop it from peeling off the butterfly wing. Which I did, and that's what I'll be showing you today. In episode 2, I covered the wing with a 12x12 scrapbook album slip-on sleeve. This caused the faux stained glass to peel off. You can see it's very flimsy and it was one whole piece. So, instead, I will be replacing it with two clear acetate sheets. These are thicker and more sturdy, but most importantly, can be painted with the faux stained glass paint. However, I did have to prep it beforehand using the UV resistant clear acrylic spray. This combination is the key to achieving a successful and durable long lasting piece. I sprayed the whole sheet with two layers, letting it dry between each one. Make sure to prep both pieces. Join the two pieces and tape the non-sprayed side with clear tape. Then prepare the wing in the same way I showed you in episode two. I hope this video was informative and I apologize to anyone who started to make this bottle and ran into the same problem. And remember, because I only tried it on these two materials, I don't know if it'll work with others. Make sure to test yours out before trying it on your projects. You might find another material that works. The results might be different depending on what you use to create the faux stained glass colors. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday. God bless you all. And always remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Bye!